What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing another WWE Elite Figure Review on the brand new entrance greats Finn Freaking Balor. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to pick this figure up, you can go over to ringsidecollectibles.com right now and use the promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10% and pick up this wonderful Finn Balor figure. This is our third entrance greats figure. No, fourth. This is our fourth entrance greats figure behind Bobby Roode, Kurt Angle, and Jeff Hardy. This thing looks incredible. I've been waiting on this one for a long time now. I did not think it was going to come in today. But uh, here it is in the flesh, and I cannot wait to go ahead and get started on the review. The packaging is the exact same that it uh, has been in the past. On the back, though, this graphic right here of Finn Balor looks epic sauce. Thank God they didn't use this body mold. That's why I'm so excited, guys. They actually gave us the good freaking body mold, which we're going to get into. But uh, let's go ahead and get this freaking review started. And here we have the Demon King out of the packaging, guys. My God, what a beautiful specimen of a figure that I'm looking at, guys. Uh, this is his TLC 2017 attire where he fought AJ Styles and conquered AJ Styles in their matchup. Great little match right there. Too sweet at the end, but uh, this figure looks incredible. I don't know what happened to my little rotating thing. Since the Seth Rollins Evolution video, it like just popped up missing. I literally looked everywhere, so I literally do not know where it is. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do is take a look at his accessories and what he comes with. Then we're going to take a closer look at Finn Balor himself. Alright guys, so here is Finn Balor's accessories. Of course, you gotta, you can't have the Demon King without the Demon King headdress right here. I believe this is the same mold we've seen in the past with all of his other Demon figures. You know, his Elite 41, his Network Spotlight, and any other Demon figure we have gotten. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same headdress. Does fit the head very well. Next up, we do have what makes his Entrance Greats figure an Entrance Greats figure. You gotta have a feature from his entrance. This one's sort of random. I did not expect, you know, uh, for this to be uh, released and us to have you know this little cloth tie but he did wear this to the ring you know it goes around his waist and it ties off like that and um, it was pretty cool I mean it was like a little red sheath type deal I don't know it is cloth though I thought it was plastic I don't know why but in the pictures it looked plastic to me we do have a cloth little uh, thing that goes around his waist you tie it up and bam you can do other stuff with it obviously if you're creative enough and then we have the other accessory that makes an entrance greats figure an entrance greats figure you have the the stand that says Finn Balor right there in the copper plate gothic font and then uh, yeah you put the figure on there he can stand on it and of course you have the button that plays his music this is the longer version and this is the shorter version we'll go ahead and play the shorter version So we have that right there. The longer version does play very long. It's pretty cool, but uh, you'll definitely have to pick up the figure so you can hear the longer version. Very sick stuff. I love these entrance greats little uh, uh, stands because they, you know, play the music and it's so freaking nice just to walk by and hit it and stuff. But uh, that does it for Finn Balor's accessories, guys. Now let's take a closer look at Finn Balor himself. So here is the Demon King in the flesh, guys. Looking freaking amazing. I am loving this figure to death. A lot better than I thought I was going to. Uh, as you know, Finn Balor, one of my favorites on the entire roster. One of my favorite wrestlers in the world right now. And this head sculpt looks incredible. I do believe it's the same one, if I'm not mistaken. But you do have all this paint detail going around. You got the teeth with the red and white lines going through. We'll go ahead and get a zoom in shot. Just look at the great work by Mattel right here, guys. You can see all of that paint detail in there on the chest and stuff. And I didn't even notice, but if you notice, like, on the neck right here and on the shoulder, there are some, like, demon faces painted in there. I don't remember that. This looks like, you know, like some freaking uh, demon hands coming over his shoulders onto his chest. You have the red, white, and black, like, lightning sort of design going on to his shoulders and chest as well. Spinning it around, you do have, like, that same demon design that's, like, I guess, you know, crawling all over his body. You see his hands moving all over his face. There is the, you know, outline and the silhouette of the demon with the white and red background. And then you have, of course, his silhouette with the white demon face and teeth painted on the chest there. So it's sort of like Finn Balor is the silhouette. I think that's freaking beautiful sauce right there. Uh, that is pretty much all the paint on this thing because after that it pretty much turns into the ringside exclusive figure. Going down, we have the beautiful torso, yeah! We actually have a ripped up torso, guys. Thank God almighty. Like, look at the comparison. Terrible choice. Beautiful choice. You look at Finn Balor. 
What does he look like? He looks like this. I mean, my God. This is like, stop cutting corners and give us the right torso. Ouch. Have a seat. But anyways, going down into the tights, we just have solid black sleeves, painted up our uh, wrist tape hands. We have the black trunks going all the way around and... <laughs> What is this trash right here, guys? Little paint mark on the, oh, it just comes right off. But going down into the knee pads, we have, you know, his left knee pad, which is completely painted perfectly. And on the right knee pad, we have I mean, my God, guys, can we get a freaking figure without some paint chipping? So there's some paint chipping right there. Maybe I can touch that up with red. Hopefully, I can get that off of there. I don't like that. It's just really OCD looking. But uh, we do have the red on the face, a black wrapping around all the way. We have the black lower leg. What in the crap and farts is that right there? Little green little stuff trying to get... I'm sure that'll come off, though. Hopefully. And then, of course, his lower legs are molded in black, and then we have the black kick pads that Finn Balor always wears. Uh, these would probably... I think, actually, guys, his shoes in this match were red with white, uh, you know, accents and stuff. I'm going to have to look that up and see. I'll pop it up on the screen right now what it looked like. Oh, yeah, guys, these are going to be getting a makeover. I'm going to make these thing look like freaking farts and sickles, guys. We're going we're gonna to hook this thing up. It's going to look beautiful and I'll post it on Instagram later and show you guys in a future video. I'm going to hook these things up. We're going to make these shoes and uh, feet accurate because uh, Finn Balor shoes are some of my favorite parts of his attires. So now let's get into some other elite Finn Balor comparisons. And I believe that is finally all of my elite Finn Balors. So you can see guys on the bottom row in the middle we do have the brand new entrance greats TLC 2017 Finn Balor and then we have all sorts of Prince Devitts and Finn Balors and fantasy attires all around him. To uh, right here, we have his NXT TakeOver The End attire. We have the Network Spotlight, which is probably our best Mattel comparison because they actually did get the torso right on both of these guys. These are easily the two best uh, Finn Balors that they've released easily. We've got TakeOver Dallas, Network Spotlight, and it is just fantastic. I love the ringside exclusive, though, too. You can't beat the non-demon. It just looks so clean, so much like Finn Balor. So I would also love that figure as well. But uh, let me know down in the comment section which of these Finn Balors is your favorite. But yeah, guys, that pretty much does it for my review of the brand new Elite Entrance Greats Finn Balor from TLC 2017. I love this figure to death. If you're a big Finn Balor fan, guys, you gotta grab this. If you don't have a Demon Finn Balor, this is probably the best one to get because you will not find the Network Spotlight or the Ringside Exclusive for a low price. And uh, this one is a little bit cheaper than that, I do believe, on Ringside. So definitely go over there, check it out. Maybe they have the Ringside Exclusive for cheaper, but you gotta to grab the entrance grates. It just looks so great. This is our first Demon Finn Balor in his red, black, and white colorway with the accurate torso. So it's always going to be a good demon to represent, you know, Demon King Finn Balor in your pick feds, on your shows, and your stop motion, on your predictions videos, whatever you're doing for your channel or your page or your hobby. You got to have a Demon Finn Balor, so you definitely need to grab this thing from Ringside Collectibles using the promo code MDTOYS to save 10%. I love this Finn Balor. I love all these Finn Balor. As you can tell, I mean, just, just Jesus Christ, guys. He, he gets treated like trash. I mean, my God. He came out, main roster debut. He was literally the first pick out of NXT coming into the draft in 2016. Shows up on Monday Night Raw, beats Roman Reigns and somebody else on the same night. He wins two Fatal 4-Ways, I think, or something like that. He won two Fatal 4-Ways, defeated or pinned Roman Reigns clean, and went on to win the Universal Championship. Speaking of which... Much better now, guys. Finn Balor, Universal Champion. And let's go ahead and go to a snip clip it before the end of the video. Oh my goodness, Finn Balor's climbing up on top of the monitor. What is he going for? Coup de Grand to Brock Lesnar. Here's the cover. One, two, three. Finn Balor has done it. Finn Balor is your new Universal Champion. He has reclaimed his Universal Championship, which he never lost. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure videos. And go pick up a freaking entrance, Grace Finn Balor. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.